Welcome to a very special interlude episode of the Modern Lady Podcast. We are pleased to present this new occasional feature, an homage to moments and stories of remarkable women throughout history to today. It's a mid-season break, a pause in the busyness of our days. Let this be a little bit of respite for your soul as you take in the stories of the feminine genius in all of its varied and unique forms. So cozy up and hygge down. Grab your mug and fill it with mulled wine, rich cocoa, or soothing tea. Sink into your couch just for a moment and join us for a tale. The Modern Lady Podcast now proudly presents Her Story, Chapter 1, The Almost Abduction of Princess Anne. On the 15th of August, 1950, Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, welcomed a daughter, the Princess Royal, Anne Elizabeth Alice Louise. The young princess was only 18 months old when her mother ascended the throne. Anne grew up much closer to her father. A strong-willed, independent woman, Anne was said to feel more comfortable around horses rather than humans. This very accomplished horsewoman actually competed on Team Britain at the 1976 Olympic Games in Montreal. Around 8 p.m. on March 20, 1974, newlyweds Princess Anne and Mark Phillips were en route back to Buckingham Palace after a charity event. They sat in the back seat, accompanied by her lady-in-waiting, of a maroon Rolls Royce marked with the royal insignia. In the front seat sat her bodyguard, Inspector James Beaton of Scotland Yard, and a royal chauffeur. A white Ford Escort drove up beside the royal vehicle and suddenly overtook the car, forcing the chauffeur to stop the Royal's Royce 200 yards from the palace. A man exited the car and Inspector Beaton, expecting a road rage incident, stepped out to confront him. This was not just an angry driver. Ian Ball charged towards the royal vehicle holding two handguns. Ball shot Inspector Beaton in his right shoulder. Beaton attempted, despite massive shoulder pain, to return fire, but after only one shot, his gun jammed. Ian Ball shook the rear door of the Rolls Royce, yelling, open or I'll shoot. The newlyweds fought to keep the door closed while the lady-in-waiting escaped from another door. The wounded bodyguard, Beaton, jumped back into the vehicle as the lady-in-waiting escaped. He positioned himself between the couple and the assailant. Ball fired his gun into the car and Beaton somehow deflected that bullet with his hand. Ball shot Beaton a third time and Beaton fell out of the car onto the ground. Chauffeur Alexander Callender then stepped out to confront Ball. Ball shot him in the chest. Callender fell back into the car. Ian Ball moved to grab the princess. He grabbed her forearm. Her husband held her tightly by the waist, holding her back. Please come out, you've got to come out, Ball pleaded with Anne. In the struggle, Anne's dress ripped. The princess, serious and deadpan, conversed with Ball. She was angry that her dress ripped. The princess royal dug her high heels in, and while Ball kept pleading with her to accompany him, she famously replied, not bloody likely. Constable Michael Hills, age 22, was first on the scene. Constable Hills approached Ball. Ball turned and shot the officer in the stomach. Hills was able to keep relaying information to dispatch via his radio before collapsing. Prior to the police backup arriving, another motorist named Glenmore Martin parked his car and confronted Ball. Don't be a silly old boy, put the gun down. Ball shot him. Another witness, former boxer Ronald Russell, came up behind Ball, and after witnessing Ball shoot Glenmore Martin, punched Ball in the back of the head. Anne and Mark saw their chance to escape. The princess did a backwards roll out of the vehicle, but re-entered the car when Ball saw them. The princess locked eyes with Ball and said, go on, now's your chance. Ball took off running as more officers arrived on the scene. Peter Edmonds, a detective constable, heard the call on his radio, observed Ball fleeing through the park. He chased him down, threw his coat over him, and tackled him to the ground, thus ending what would have been a very terrifying ordeal for the princess and all involved. Not bloody likely, 
words said by a princess who kept her cool, more irritated than scared, this princess is anything but helpless. As a side note, when Queen Elizabeth presented a medal to one of the men that jumped in, Her Majesty said, The medal is from the Queen of England, but the thank you is from Anne's mother. We hope you enjoyed hearing the tale of Princess Anne's near abduction in this special presentation of her story. To get in touch, please visit our website, www.themodernlady1950.wordpress.com, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram, where you can find us at The Modern Lady Podcast. Stay tuned for more episodes of Her Story in the future. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great week, and we will see you next time.